Hi, this is Tom with Rebuild It Services Group. Wanted to do a quick video on the control panel that comes standard with all of our CM drive units. Quick overview of some of the features, some of the issues that we've seen in the field from wiring, just uh, not that they're anything major, but just maybe a, more of a refresher for the electricians that aren't doing a lot of control cabling at, at the times. There is a junction box on the back of the drive unit that the cable that you're seeing out front right now is typically wired to. This cable does have a shield wire that will be landed to a terminal inside that box. That shield wire needs to be grounded all the way back to the panel. We highly suggest that the cabling you use from the J box on the drive back to the panel is a shielded cable. Front of the panel, NEMA 4X stainless steel enclosure has all of your basic indication, a window that shows the torque display from the load cell, running lights, VFD fault, high torque alarm, high, high torque alarm, silence, reset. The reset will have to be pressed at the panel. For the drive, there is no auto restart of the drive if it's shut down on high torque. Start, stop, hand off auto. All the CM drives come standard with the Allen Bradley VFD. We have a pot on front of the panel for your speed control so you can fine tune your clarifier speed. If you do run into a situation where the clarifier is stopped and you need to jog it backwards, we do provide a spring loaded switch which will allow you to jog the clarifier backwards. Disconnect switch. As we open up the panel, you can see the load cell display is running. The top line is your percentage percentage torque. The bottom line is the millivolts that the load cell is putting out. It'll flash between the actual and the display, which is saying that it's millivolts. The Allen Bradley uh, load cell, just for your information, the load cell, I'm sorry, Allen Bradley VFD, the VFD and the strain gauge are programmed in the factory. So it's ready to go when you wire it up out in the field. We do have a condensate heater for you built in. Um, your disconnect switch, main power disconnect for your uh, lower 110 voltage. Um, breaker for your heater and the breaker for the uh, strain gauge display. The strain gauge display is wired such that if we lose power to the display or the display fails, it will shut down the drive unit and not operate without torque protection. Just a couple of pointers wanted to bring out things that we've ran into in the field. And it's just, you know, probably from an electrician that doesn't do a lot of control wiring and, you know, or isn't quite as familiar with it. The millivolt signal is very susceptible to noise from your high power. So we always suggest, recommend that this is ran or in a shielded cable. It's ran in its own conduit and enters the panel as far away from the high voltage side of the panel as possible. That the shield is always ran to ground. If you don't do that, and if it's pick, picking up noise, you'll see it at the display. The is, display will flash, do all sorts of things. They'll make you think that the display is bad. If you're seeing that, the first thing to check is just ensure that the shield wire from the junction box on the drive unit all the way to the control panel has been grounded. Um, really, that kind of takes care of everything. If you have any questions when you're out in the field or getting ready to wire this or the operations of it, please give us a call. We're more than happy to help out. Thank you.